Hello there YouTube and welcome back to War Thunder guys. Today I'm going to be taking out the Russian Premium Matilda Mark II. Now as you guys will be aware we are doing the World War II Chronicles or Chronicles of World War II, however they want to say it this year. As well as that we're doing the Community Task where you can unlock this, the Matilda Mark II, as well as the Harpoon, as I already showed you in the previous video. If you guys are wanting to keep track of your progress, I will show you where to go. So come up to your name at the top here, move along to achievements, and then we go down to chronicles here, expand on that, and then assemble a reward yourself. Now basically to get the tank or the plane, you will need to complete 12 of these tasks. Completing these 12 tasks will obviously give you then access to your workshop where you can put the parts together for said vehicle um, and then you can obviously get the blueprint and then put it together or if you've already got it sell it on to someone else or the parts on the market but we're not going to worry about that we're just going to focus on the tank so looking at the tank it is for the most part a British Mark II Matilda. Everything is practically the same except for obviously this 76mm F96 cannon. If I switch to the British one you'll obviously see the difference straight away. This is the two pounder cannon for the British and as you can see there's quite um, some large gaps in the gun mantler here. Switching back and you can see that this has been completely sort of replaced and the 76 millimeter cannon has been put in in its place now this does suffer from some drawbacks top speed is 14.9 uh, it's slow it's slow but once it gets there a, pro a plus to it is it does have some significant amount of armor now i'm not going to go through the armor you guys can do that with the british matilda because it's exactly the same another drawback though is its gun depression minus two it really doesn't have a lot so if you're trying to crest a hill to shoot someone you're going to have real issues with that so be very careful try and stick to the flatter parts of the map when you unlock this also reverse speed is pretty abysmal and your stationary traverse your neutral steering yeah you don't have none as soon as you're sort of going along at your 40 miles an hour and you have to turn it will bleed its speed it has really bad mobility but what makes up for that is the armor and the gun they really do make this tank so we're going to go into the modifications and have a quick look over the arm over the armor over the ammunition so this is our stock shell the br350a or md5 fuse and it's pretty decent for the most part, but we're obviously not going to be using this one. Then we have our armor piercing ballistic cap, which has a lot more penetration. And since the solid shells have had a bit of a buff, a pretty decent amount of post penetration effect is going into effect there. But these are the ones I'm going to be using the BR350B or MD8 fuse. This has 108.8 grams of explosive these will absolutely nuke most tanks when you shoot them if you don't nuke them in one shot then you probably need to check your aim and fire again but they are pretty decent they are very good we also get access to a he round a fragmentation round and a smoke shell i'm just going to be using these and a few smoke shells um, for the most part i've also thrown in the Hurricane Mark II B because we're sort of going with a, a Russian-y, British-y theme here. I'm trying to help relations along. <laughs> God. Right, so looking at the Hurricane, it's very pretty. I do like the scheme. I do like the, the paint scheme and the Russian stars on it. It does look quite nice. So as you can see, the 7.7s have been done away with. We have two 20mm Slovak cannons or Shovak cannons, however you pronounce it. 
with 240 rounds of ammunition. Then we also get um, two 12.7 millimeter whatever they are 50 cows we have 200 rounds of ammunition we also get access to some rockets where's my thing there's my thing there is so let's have a quick look at the rockets we don't get no bombs for this but we get these um rs82 rockets with only six millimeters of pen these are more designed for going for aircraft we're not going to be using these i am going to however try these ones the rbs82 rockets what about sort of I'd say about 58 millimeters of pen depending on where I hit. I've tried these out before and I haven't had much success. I've done lots of damage and critical tanks and set them on fire and killed crew. However, I've not actually killed anything with them. So it'll be interesting to see if I can actually get any kills. But for the most part, I'm going to be focusing on the Matilda. Now, you could also argue the fact that since I'm doing sort of a Britishy lineup, I could use the Hampton. But I'm not going to do that because I don't want to be playing too much in the air. I just want to try and focus on the tank so you guys know what you're working towards, guys. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's gameplay. All right, let's see what's down here. Oh, there we go. First kill. <laughs> Easy enough. Centurion Mark. Oh, Crusader, I should say. Not Centurion. Crusader. Second kill. Valentine. Lovely. Okay, just move on into the tan a bit more. That literally, I wasn't even in the tan, just on the edges of the tan. Let's push forward and see if I can't pop off a few more unfortunate little souls. Um, it's pretty much clear at the moment. It's when you start getting into the middle of this sort of tan, you need to get worried. Okay, we've got contacts on A. I think I'm going to swing over. So, you know, as I said, if you keep your speed up and then get into a turn, it's usually okay, but it does bleed a bit of speed. It's when you need to 180, it's the real sort of issue with this tank. Or if you're not at a very high rate of speed, turning is a real issue. But you can get around it. Oh, I think the M10's down, it was on A. Yeah, looks it. Oh no, there might be another one actually. Ah, right, there we go. Oh, poxy fucking curb. Oh yeah, didn't even see me. How can you have not seen me? <laughs> well, oh, there you go. I'm not sure how he missed that shot that went ringing right above his turret, but there you go. Let's see if I can try and turn my arch around yeah I'm getting there slowly there we go okay we've got a friendly with us which is good my random squad up let's hope he's gonna watch my back over here all right <laughs> I'm so surprised that guy in the Japanese tank didn't actually notice. Oh well, he's lost his mind again. Okay, let's move back around this way. We've got tanks attacking B. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. When turning as well, I should say, try and get yourself into second gear. If you get yourself into second gear, it turns a lot better than if you was in first gear. Oh, damn it. If that had been a tad higher, just a tad higher, never mind. Try and get over there. I don't think he's going to be able to do much. Oh, but then again, we've got a critical tank over there, so try and get over and help him. Although, as I say, 50 miles now is not the best top speed. Thank you very much. That was optimistic of him, but good, good try. <laughs> Points for effort. Oh god damn it, they're on A again. Alright, let's check to make sure I can um, drive back. I don't want to leave that guy out and get, get him get killed. Well, there's a couple of them over here, but let's see. Okay, 
No, it looks like he's driven off, great. Should have just turned around. Oh, come on, come on. No, doesn't want to kick into... There we go, sort of. Yeah, come on. Wow, that was a bit of a chore there. Oh, M24. Ah, oh, damn it. Four kills, though, and a capture isn't bad. Where did he get me? Oh, right in a little weak spot right there. Okay, well, we'll bring out a hurricane and see what we can do with that. Not quite sure what he's doing, but whatever. Okay, potentially got a fire up. I'm going to dive down. I can't see the fighter, but it says there's one up. Okay, let's see if I can get rockets on this guy. Oh, come on, don't lag out, don't lag out. Oh, that looked like they were on target. That really did look like they were on target there. Okay, try again. They don't kill him. Wow. That should have hit on the side, and yet it somehow hit in front, which I'm a little bit confused about. Is that a Tatey truck? I don't know what that is, hang on. Oh, it is a Tatey truck. Oh, you have got to be shitting me. Oh, it's a, it's an American Tatey truck. Gone as that, he's not going to be shooting me. Cannons are out. Critical, come on, come on. Nope, I'm out of, oh, I'm out of bullets. God damn, it's one bad thing about this. If you can't make your kill instantly, then you can't make your kill. He might still go down, he might. Until then, I'm going to have to RTB and hopefully try again. Oh, yes, he went down. Lovely. Just what I needed. <laughs> An extra kill. Okay, guys, let's try again with these rockets. With any luck, we can spot something. Hopefully something light. I mean, I did sort of go after that M15 or M16, whatever it was. And um, apparently missed. But we'll give it another go. As I said before in the hangar, I've got pretty close to getting kills with these rockets on tanks um, but I tend just to do lots of critical damage and not enough to, to kill it but try with this guy here looks like a light tank okay that hit him transmissions out so he's not going anywhere that was a bit close I did leave that a bit close um, oh kill assist yeah figures swing back over there's still plenty of tanks by the look of it it's just finding the sods there's one there's one let's try and get this guy oh damn it D-track now considering how little armour the Cromwell has you think that might have done a bit more damage than just a simple D-track. Okay, last two rockets. And I can't see him for shit. Thank you, JU87. There he is. Okay, try it again. Let's line this up. Hopefully we can get... Oh my god, would you stop that shit? 
<laughs> oh, what a load of bullshit that was. That literally passed right through him. Oh, and that player yeah, so kind of got me. Okay then, well, that is the end of my lives. Okay then guys, so I had to dip into my replay files and get this game here, which was one of my warm-up games and turned out to be a really good game. The reason being is I kept getting really shitty maps like Ash River, Japan, etc, etc. Really bumpy, lumpy maps that don't suit the gameplay for this tank. And I want to show you guys the best possible footage that I could possibly get. Simply because you guys know the limitations for this tank, the low speed, the bad traverse, the mediocre sort of slowish um, reload speed of the cannon. So having what is effectively a pretty flat map, especially when you're in the tan here on Ardennes, it tends to work a lot better. And there's my first kill, didn't even slow down for that one because, well, it's pretty much flat there and there wasn't really that much cannon bounce going on. So I'm going to keep pushing up because there's a Panzer 4G. Um, thankfully though, someone else popped him off and I didn't need to worry about exchanging shots with him because that cannon on that will go straight through the front of the Matilda regardless of his armour. Now I guess it's pretty obvious to say that because of this tank's limitations in its speed, you are not going to be able to cap points at the beginning of the game. As you can see though, the enemy team have capped C and what I'm going to do, because I'm in a decent position here to get behind them, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to drive around behind these guys and try to get a few shots and potentially a few kills on some enemy tanks whilst getting the cap as well. So if you've got more tanks or planes in your lineup, you can obviously afford to bring them out. Now the camera's gone a bit screwy here and it will get sorted eventually so you can see back in the actual um, player view where I get into the sights but I didn't actually realise that when recording this and I'm doing the voiceover after the recording so ta-da! <laughs> but I will get a really really decent kill in a second I'm just pushing around to see if I can finish that guy off obviously he's just been killed and this poor old T-34 has just had it. This one here is almost exactly the same sort of idiocy that you see on Poland. Look at this, the guy cannot see me. I'm right in front of him and he didn't even see me. And I'm not quite sure how. <laughs> I'm not sure what was going on with people today. They just didn't seem to be paying that much attention. But it's lucky that I was. So I'm going back onto the main road here and I was intending to push up towards B and go for that but as you'll see in a second as soon as I get round here and start pushing up towards where this church is they jump back onto C and start capturing it again which brings into play another issue with this tank as I said before it has bad mobility here you're going to see some bad mobility I was really really struggling to turn this tank as you can see and because I wasn't in first or second gear properly, it just really, really struggled. But you have to remember to try to push forward slightly, get it into at least second or third gear. And it usually turns around quite well, um, usually. Please don't sort of quote me on that. Here we go, I'm going to sort out the camera now. So it should go back into the actual gun of view, play like player view. Yay, there we go, fixed it. <laughs> so here we go with a lucky kill. Well, not, no, this isn't a lucky kill, this is the easy kill. This is the easy kill. One straight to the side here. This is the lucky one. Bounced right off of me, point blank range. This guy must have been so pissed off and so frustrated. Actually, I thought he was going to kill me. He had me dead to rights there and thankfully it just bounced off. Not quite sure where he managed to shoot me, but I think he, it was a, a bit of a, a crap shot, luckily for me. So I'm going to cap this, and I was planning on going back over to try to capture B. But as you can see, A is now being decapped by the enemy. So once I've capped this, I'm going to move up here through the alleyway to my left and try to engage anything down the main street towards A and 
I am successful for the most part. <laughs> And that plane would not piss off. He really had it in for me. I think it was one of the guys that I killed. So I'm going to get a really nice kill here on a Panzer 4G. Again, another guy that should have seen me, but obviously wasn't paying attention. And here is the kill that I should have had, but I was a little bit slow there and couldn't quite manage to get my gun ran. So as you can see, I was going to move down to A. And then, da 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 da, they're capping C yet again. So, back round to C, and yet more mobility issues with the Matilda. But, there you go, that's one of the many drawbacks to this. But it is a pretty decent tank. So, I'm going to come round this corner here. I'm going to miss out on this knee 2. However, I'm going to get my 6 kill on this Panzer 3M. Took his turret clean off. Now, I was going to go straight forward here and follow my gut instinct. But I thought, no i got a funny idea, he's going to come round and try and shoot me in the back. However, I do spot this um, Puma that comes around the corner. I would have assumed that would have been a kill shot considering I killed his driver and hit the ammunition and then shot in the back by the knee too. And that basically ended the game for me, no hurricane gameplay for that one. Welcome back to the hangar guys, as you can see it has its limitations although it does have its pros. I definitely think if you have the time and the patience, it's definitely worth going for. It is quite a map dependent tank because of the lack of gun depression, only minus two degrees. So anything like Ash River or Japan or other maps that are quite hilly or have lumpy terrain really does affect this tank's performance, especially in mobility because you will struggle climbing up small hills, um, even slight inclines, it really slows this tank. So if you can stick to maps like Abandoned Factory, Eastern Europe, Poland, and stay to the flat parts in the towns, you'll really do well because this really does sort of get around the towns on paved roads quite well and you can also use the corners to your advantage because it does have decent armor and as you see with that panzer 4 on c somehow he managed to bounce right off the front armor of this i'm not quite sure again where he got me but it bounced off, saved my life, and I was able to one-shot him. So it is a pretty well-rounded tank. And again, if you do have the time, please try and get this because it, it will give you some, some good games. It will give you some shit games, but it will give you some good games. On to the Hurricane Mark II. Now, as you see, I did try with the rockets, and boy, did I try. I just didn't add most of the gameplay with it because the rockets... I just couldn't get a kill with them. I honest to God couldn't get a kill with them. I got a few fighters with the guns. Um, obviously, I didn't show that. I wanted to try and get some kills with the rockets, but as I say, I just seemed to critical things. Lots and lots of critical hits, just no kills with it, which is really frustrating because you think, especially when you hit a Cromwell dead in the side, you do more than detrack it. But apparently, those rockets hate me. And that's fine because I hate those rockets now. <laughs> so guys, if you have enjoyed today's video and you are new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you do subscribe, guys, don't forget to hit the notification bell for updates on future content. Also, a thumbs up is appreciated. It does help the channel out. And until next time, guys, I will see you soon and have fun.